heated confrontation erupts after a man leaves his dog in his car with the windows rolled up while he ate lunch. A concerned citizen called for help. News Channel 3 reporter Elise Martinez joins us live. And Elise, you were there when the man showed up to finally let his dog out. That's right. Police and animal control were there, too. And even though it's October, it was close to 80 degrees outside today. Animal control says this is a good reminder not to leave your pets inside the car. Well, it was just a hot day, and the dog was, you know, in the car barking, and I put my hand on the car, and... I'm like, wow, I can't believe there's a dog in there. A woman who lives on a boat in Santa Barbara's harbor says she could not walk away after seeing a dog in the back of this car with the windows rolled up. I wouldn't want my dog in there and my, or my kid or I couldn't imagine anybody staying in a hot car for an hour and a half with the windows rolled up. <laughs> the woman says she peered inside, waited for a while and then called police. <laughs> Police arrived, called animal control, then waited too. When the man, a tourist from Arizona, showed up, a small crowd had gathered around his car. Yeah, my dog's fine. Let's open the Locking a dog in a car in the sun is insane. My dog, and I love my dog. That doesn't entitle you to abuse him. You're not licensed to do that. Uh, the man said he had a window cracked and there was water in the kennel. That's Why don't you go back to Arizona? Is this the way you treat animals? Animal control looked Reggie over and said he was okay, but gave the man a lecture. The restaurant wouldn't allow me to bring the dog in, so I either, I guess I could have not eaten. No, Windows. but it takes less than 10 minutes for the temperature to get elevated in there. If it's not in the shade, I mean, yeah. ideally, it, we'd like you to have it in the shade. Now Animal Control let the man go with a warning, but says if he does it again, he'll get a ticket. Live in Santa Barbara, Elise Martinez, News Channel 3.